had eight deceased. So that's been the most I've seen in a day. Uh, drownings and people found in the brush. We're averaging about one to two per day right now of either persons that were found either uh, drowned in the river or, or they've succumbed to the elements in the, out in the brush. Uh, I believe it was Thursday they found three children, uh, eight, ten, and five years old, I believe. Very unfortunate. And a lot of times they're hurt, the children are scared, and we just try to take care of them the best we can until they come and pick them up. And, you know, they're crossing without any food or water. I just gave some water out to the kids. You know, this, this weather is brutal, the heat's brutal, and who, know, who knows how long it's been since they've had a drink of water or they've eaten anything. And I've attended to so many people out here. I have to carry a backpack of first aid, a whole first aid medical kit. In, in the trunk of my vehicle and I've had to attend to so many twisted ankles and you know broken fingers and you know people succumbing to the heat people getting cut you know what other way and trying to bandage them up as best I can and it's a never-ending it's a never-ending issue it's every day it's 24 7 and it's gonna keep on happening unfortunately It seems as people uh, make their way up from southern Mexico here to the border, and once they get here, they get so many uh, into Piedras Negras, and then they'll start crossing several hundred at a time uh, all throughout the day and all the way into the evenings. So, whereas before we were having constant, constant crossings like every hour, now uh, smaller numbers, uh, like I said, between 20, 30 to 50 per hour in small little groups. Now we're having big groups of 50, 100 to 2, 300 crossing all at the same time. We get a lot of intelligence reports from the state and the federal level. On the Mexican side, the, uh, the new currency has become people uh, for the cartels. Uh, they control a lot of the area and they're moving a lot of the people through and they don't have to move drugs anymore to make money. Now they're, they're moving across people. You know, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it, but we get so many horror stories from people, you know, about the, ch the children, the women, the children getting exploited, which I'm not going to go into because it's disgusting. The other is females getting pushed into sex trafficking or females being sexually assaulted all up and down their journey or even here. Uh, you know, males being uh, kidnapped and beaten, whether on the Mexican side or they're coming across showing obvious signs of, you know, some type of abuse. Uh, whether they've got cuts or bruises or sometimes broken limbs, it's it's at all levels. It, it's it's very sad, and and we're seeing it every day. We, every day we're seeing it here. Before, uh, I want to say about ninety to ninety-five percent of the people that were crossing they were uh, pretty much giving themselves up. And uh, now, as it, as ever since the date for Title 42 kind of came and went, and it's kind of in limbo right now, it's the federal judge left it in place. People are still crossing now, but now they're running. They're not give, tending to give themselves up anymore. They don't have water or if they're not in some kind of reasonably decent shape or the kids and the, and the older adults they can succumb to the heat very easily and i've seen that so many times and we've had I've, I've had numerous calls in the past responding to deceased out here in, in the brush because they just don't carry water with them or they get lost and unfortunately they become a you know a, a fatality due to the, to the elements Different countries.
here we are Monday on, on Friday we had eight deceased you know coming across and uh, there's people drowning men women and children there's people dying in the brush because of the heat you know they're getting heat stroke heat exhaustion and they're just succumbing to the elements longer hours, 10 to 12 hour shifts, uh, sometimes staying up to 16 hours because the calls uh, constantly come in, especially at night. Uh, especially at night, on uh, between the hours of about 10 p.m. to about 3 in the morning, is our 911 system gets gets bombarded with calls of people saying that, you know, they're seeing a group of 30 walk through their neighborhood or there's somebody in their backyard. and. You know, there's someone breaking into their vehicle, someone suspicious in the neighborhood, and we go and check it out, and nine times out of ten, it's it's an undocumented person. So we're having to go and pick them up and and uh, drop them off at the Border Patrol station. stuff in my backyard. Here it is. The military up and down the border helping out. It's a shame to see this in my hometown, but it's what's going on right now.